नमस्ते एवरी वन टूडे वी गोन स्टार्ट विथ अ न्यू सीरीज नोन एज नेशनल पार्क्स ऑफ इंडिया नीटली डिवाइडेड इनटू फाइव वीडियोस सो यू कैन मास्टर देम रीजन बाय रीजन डिड यू नो इंडिया ओनली डुगोंग रिजर्व इज इन साउथ इंडिया और दैट देयर एग्जिस्ट अ फॉरेस्ट विच टर्न्स इन अ पर्पल कार्पेट ऑफ फ्लवर्स जस्ट वंस इन ट्वेल्व इयर्स इन टूडे इज वीडियो वील एक्सप्लोर नेशनल पार्क ऑफ साउथ इंडिया एंड स्टे टिल द एंड फॉर अ यूपीएससी प्रिलिम्स रैपिड फायर रिकैप along with a practice sheet for covering all the national parks of india designed especially for aspirants like you just a suggestion if i miss out something please write in the comment section we'll begin with kerala let's start with the first national park that is to the south of india we have periyar national park and tiger reserves in the kadamam hills around the periyar lake this park is home to tiger an endangered species asiatic elephant also endangered lion tail macaque endangered species and malabar grey hornbill which is vulnerable and endemic this national park also acts as a watershed for two important rivers one periyar river another pamba river moving little north we have mattiketan chola national park in the munnar region these chola forests preserve the nilgiri thar an endangered animal as well as grizzled giant squirrel it's important gene pool reserve of the western ghats Just a bit north we have Arvakulam National Park also in Munnar region this national park is famous for the Anamudi peak which is the highest peak in peninsular india also it is famously known for nilgiri thar an endangered mammal one interesting thing about this national park is it is known for nilkurinji flowers which blooms only once in 12 years just above this we have the pambadun chola national park and anamudi chola national park A little further up in the Kerala we have Silent Valley National Park in the Nilgiri Biosphere region. This has largest population of lion tail macaque which is an endangered mammal in the world. It is core of Nilgiri Biosphere reserve and source for rivers like Kuntipuzha and Bhavani. Moving to the neighboring state of Tamil Nadu. First let us see towards the coast. One national park is Gulf of Mannar Marine National Park. This national park is composed of 21 small islands. Also a flagship species in this region is dugong animal. This an it is also called as water elephant. Along with dugong we also have olive ridley and green turtles. It is India's first marine biosphere reserves. Remember the name Gulf of Mannar Marine National Park. Bordering the state of Kerala we have the Annamalai National Park and Tiger Reserves in the Annamalai Hills. This also shelters known animals like tigers, elephants and lion tail macaque. Just a bit to the north bordering the states of Karnataka we have the National Park in Nilgiris and Madhumalai National Park and Tiger Reserve also a part of Nilgiri Biosphere Reserves Critical animals found in this biosphere reserve are elephants this also is a part of elephant corridor between the Karnataka Tamil Nadu and Kerala Now we go to the last national park of Tamil Nadu that is Gindi National Park inside the city of Chennai This is famous for black buck animal. Next up we have the state of Karnataka. In Karnataka we have five important national parks. First we have the Banagada National Park around Bengaluru. This national park is also an elephant corridor linking BR Hills and Satyamangalam. It shelters tigers, leopard and sloth bear. Just to the south of the state bordering the state of Kerala we have Bandipur National Park part of Nilgiri Biosphere along with the Wynad as well as Malai National Parks. This Bandipur National Park treasures tiger, elephant, dhole and many others. To reduce road kills the night traffic is banned in this national park. Just to the west of Bandipur we have the Nagarhole National Park and Tiger Reserve. It is home to tigers, elephants, leopards and even black panther. In the towards the Malnad region of Karnataka we have Kudremukh National Park in the district of Chikkamagaluru. This national park is source of two important rivers, Tunga and Bhadra rivers. This national park also protects lion tail macaque and Malabar civet. Malabar civet is a critically endangered mammal. Moving further up, we have Anshi National Park and Kali Tiger Reserve along the Kali River in Uttar Kannada district. This national park is frequently sighting of black panthers. It also shelters Malabar civet and great hornbill. Neighboring state. Now let's look at Andhra Pradesh, the neighboring of Karnataka. This has three important national park. First one is Sri Venkateshwara National Park in the Tirumala Hills. part of sisachalam biosphere reserves famous for red sandalwood which is endangered and slender loris and also mouse deer next we have rajiv gandhi national park also known as kadappa 
and we have papikonda national park in the eastern ghats along godavari papikonda national park has species like tiger leopard indian gaur sloth bear and many more moving on we have the state of telangana in telangana we have three important national parks all closely linked to each other around the city of hyderabad the names of these three are kasu brahmananda reddy national park mahavir harina vanasthali national park and murugwani national park some of the animals you can find here are spotted deer wild boars some elephants tigers and so on finally we have the state of goa which houses molem national park in the western ghats divided by nh 4a this national park is famous for dud sagar falls one of india's tallest waterfalls so that's south india's national parks from kerala's rain forest and tamil nadu's nilgiri hills to karnataka's tiger reserves andhra and telangana's eastern ghats and goa's waterfalls now let's have a upsc rapid fire recap round also try to open your practice sheet try to mark the answers for these questions which is india's first marine biosphere reserve it is gulf of mannar national park in tamil nadu next question name the state with largest lion tail macaque population it is kerala and the national park is silent valley national park name the national park for nilgiri tar conservation it is mukurthi national park in tamil nadu next we have which national park bans traffic at night to protect the wildlife this is bandipur national park in karnataka next question is red sandalwood is endemic to which national park it is shri venkateshwara national park of andhra pradesh finally the last question is which is the tallest waterfall in south india inside a national park it is dud sagar falls and it lies within molem national park so that's it with the south indian national park in the next video we'll start studying about central india thank you